There is a flying creature somewhere in here and I cannot find it. Just saying. But anyways, today I'm doing a two look one palette using the She Glam Glitz with Ecstasy palette. I believe this is actually meant to do the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette, New Nude palette, it's something like that. New Nude palette or even the Rose Gold palette. But I'm excited to try this out because I'm not really a big fan of the Glitz Wiz Brick Lane palette. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and start. Ah! Okay. Um, I had my dad kill it. <laughs> Anyways, I also brought out the e.l.f. rose water palette, bite-sized rose water palette to use, and of course, I brought my companion palette, and I have my Jeffree Star Magic Star C0 concealer as my base, so let's start. I'm going to do, I think, Fearless on one eye right here, just to kind of get a start, and I am using my Luxie Angled Brush. So I am just kind of applying. So this is probably going to be very, very pink looks. I am obviously going to try that glitter shade out because I have to. The glitter shade that's like right here, I have to try that out. I'm kind of nervous because... She Glam did a really good job duping the Natasha Denona Gold palette, but they didn't do a good job to drop, um, duping the Metropolis palette. It could also be because I don't enjoy the Metropolis palette. I think I'm going to use this on the next eye, so that means let's focus on these shades. Let's stick to the pinky red look I'm going for. So I'm going to take the shade here, Papaya, next, to kind of like no tone it down okay let's see how papaya lays layers on top of that profusion matte palette i know how good that profusion matte palette is and i know how other products layer with it and work with it it's a good pro so far this is turning out really good and she she glam has some good products but they also do have some duds and i will say that brick let with brick lane palette is a dud but i also am not a fan of the Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona, so that could always be my issue. You guys, I have to just go for it. It's called Burning Heart. And I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. It is definitely a glitter. But is it a good glitter? I will just build around it. I'm not wearing any glitter glue because that's not what this is about. This is about just testing out formulas and seeing how versatile this palette is. Um, definitely going to need another good layer. I'm just kind of tapping on the product with my finger and like it's going on but it's not going on super duper like opaque like okay it looks opaque on camera but if you go like really up close with like this mirror I can still see very very tiny patches of my skin and I can't get the product to stick to it but what I want to do now is I want to see how colors layer on top of it so I'm gonna take man these two shades look so similar I'm gonna take the shade game over right here and what I'm gonna do is put it on the outer edge now if you want to recreate this look I wanted to see how this matte would go on top of this glitter but if you want to recreate this look, put this color on the outer edge first, and then do the glitter after it. That actually didn't turn out too, too bad. You can't even really see the glitter underneath. So that's not bad. Alright, I want to try out a light shimmer shade. Which 
there's like two shades in here that look so freaking like look identical so i'm gonna have to test those out on the next side i'm just gonna take this mini detailer brush from real techniques and take the shade truth right here it's just a matte i'm not seeing anything like a light champagne to highlight with so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pop in the inner corner i need to do my brows i have not been wearing makeup but i heard another bug But anyways, um, ooh, I like this shade. This shade just completely covered what was up here that I did not want. That's, that was nice. That was really nice. So what I'm going to do now is take this gold shade. It's called on, Scepter. It's right here. I want to see how... That looks on the inner corner. It might be a little dark for me, but I really want to test this shade out, and I don't have anywhere to put it in the next eye look, so it's going to go right here. So you can see how it's going to look as an inner corner. It's actually, yeah, it's a little dark. It's a duochrome, though. It's more pinky gold with some peach in it. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a darker gold. I'm just going to leave this look like this. I'm not going to even do lower lash line or anything because I'm not doing eyeliner. I think he wants to lay down. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to lay him down. Let me get started on the other side. I'm just going to take this shade from the Rose Water Palette to have something to build off of. So I don't really think there is a nice light matte shade in there. And of course, it's going to turn a little orange because there's still product on this brush. I want to use that deep berry shade, but there are some lighter mattes in here that I do want to use before I go in with that. Like, I want to do this shade here. It's called Spring Breeze. Spring Breeze. It's showing up lighter on camera than what it actually is in person. It's very powdery, I will say that much. It's more orangey than the look I wanted to really go for. So we're getting an orange peak look. All right, I'm going to take Suede, the shade here. Let's see what that looks like. Increase. Okay. I think I have a good crease. So I'm going to take this purple shade that I have just been eyeing. It's called Tonight. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Yeah, this is very powdery. But I'm going to put the outer, outer corner and in the crease. Yeah, these shades did not mix well. You'd think that they would. It seems like they're from the same palette. I want to see how well this purple black shade goes on top of that and mixes with those shades. So not well at all Ooh. i kind of had a feeling that something like this was going to happen so i was prepared <laughs> because i just was not a fan of the brick lane one so that's why i'm not sure how much of a fan i'm going to be of this one so anyways these two shades look very 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 similar like very very tiny differences this shade here is called masquerade and this shade here is called spotlight they look literally the same so i'm gonna test that i'm gonna start with masquerade on my real techniques detailer brush i mean it looks like it's gonna be a really pretty light duochrome both of them look like that but you don't need the same shade all right masquerade is going on my the middle of my lid please allow me to care Alright, next is Spotlight. There might be like a very, very, very subtle difference. But I want to put them next to each other and see if they're going to look like the same shade. You know what? I think Spotlight is actually different. I'm going to swatch these. Because I don't have really any other. I think I will do this shade here though, really fast. It's called Midnight Wine. This is one that is also calling to me. It's a matte. I'm going to do a wing with it, I think. I'm going to try and do a wing. I don't know if it will even show up. It might not be dark enough. 
And I mean, these mattes are just like too powdery to really give you an intense, kind of like deep, extreme thing. Because they kind of just dust away, which is what you do not want. I mean, no, not really. So, let's just move on. I'm going to go ahead and swatch Masquerade and Spotlight and see if I see a difference in the swatches. Just because I think that these are the same shade. No, very, very similar like I thought. So, Masquerade is on top, Spotlight is on the bottom. So, Spotlight is obviously darker, but they look so the much the same in the the pan I just had to swatch these like these are very I don't think you need both shade, of these shades in this palette all right time to pick a look are we feeling the glitter eye that I created I mean honestly this is probably the only eye I would wear out and I wouldn't really want to wear this out and this eye I'm just not feeling it the shades were very tough to work with they blended away pretty easily and I just don't like shades like that because I find I have to reach into their palettes. So I'm not prefer I'm not preferring either eye. But let me know which eye you are gonna prefer down below. Um, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All the social media great stuff. Remember, it costs you nothing to support this channel. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye you guys. Can you say bye? That's all.